Hello everyone, I have another set of ink samples to share with you all and I'm looking forward to seeing how these swatch because they are a lot of shimmers. So once again, I got them from Van Ness who once again surpassed all my wildest hopes and dreams for speed of shipping and processing. They're just wonderful. I am looking for an ink to put in my beautiful Twisby Diamond 580 in the white rose gold. This completes my Twisby Diamond 580 collection. Um, I now have a Smoke Rose Gold in Extra Fine, a Iris in Fine, and now I have the White Rose Gold in Medium. So as of right now, I'm not really interested in trying broad or sub nibs just because I don't think that I would get as much use out of them or enjoy them as much. So I'm really happy that I now have a Extra Fine, Fine, and Medium, and I'm excited to hopefully put a shimmer ink in here. I think that this will handle it well. So I know I said in my currently inked that I thought that Twisbees were not the best at handling shimmer, and uh, shortly after that, I inked up the Iris with a shimmer ink, and I realized that the Diamond 580s handle shimmer completely differently than the Ecos do, and while the Ecos do do a fine job of handling them, um, the the, Ira, or the Diamond 580 is even better. So I think this one will be great for a shimmer ink as well. And yeah, I also have the Diamond Mini in the White Rose Gold. So yeah, I just, I love my Twisby Diamonds. They're, I think, my favorite pen that I have uh, with the Esterbrook SD. That's also my favorite. Anyways, let me get to swatching. The first ink here is by Kobe, and it's the Myodani Cosmos Red. And I just was curious to try another Kobe ink since the last one I got was very pleasant. And um, I love this kind of color. So I'm just going to use this dip pen for all my swatching today. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay. I think I saw this on somebody else's video as well, and I liked the way that it looked, so. Kobe, 74. The last time I swatched the ink samples and used this dip pen, the writing obviously came out very broad and wet, and um, it did give a good look at the ink. However, it did not look anything like when I put the ink into the pen. So I wanted to try and do a finer line here so that I could get a more realistic expectation of what to, um, what I would expect when inking it up in a pen. <laughs> Just because, I mean, it's cool to see it like in all its full glory, but also I wanna know what to expect if I ink it up so that I can decide, you know, whether or not to ink it. The next one is Ventel Laguna, which is funny because I, when I ordered this, <sighs> there was something else in the name on their website that made me think this was a different ink, but I actually already have a sample of this ink and it is currently inked up in my Smoke Rose Gold <laughs> Twisby Diamond. So whatever, it's a gorgeous color and I'm happy to have more. Um, I think on the website it says St. John's Laguna, but it is a gorgeous deep red that is, it, it you can tell that it's red, but it's not, bright red and it's also not so deep that it's bordering on you know brown like the one right above it so I wanted to compare the two yeah I highly recommend this red and it is super wet as well it just flows really well in the pen and okay the next one is palette Eroshizuku Sutsuji I only have one no that's not true I have two Eroshizuku inks one of them is a gray and I don't really like gray ink so I have never inked it up the other one is Yamabuto which I love so I wanted to try another Eroshizuku ink and I love my pink, so I thought, yes, let's try it. That is so pretty. Um, it reminds me of Noodler's Roses on the Louvre. It's like a true bright pink. Okay, so Pilot, Hiroshizuku, Suit, Suji. That is so pretty. I should have been doing those little things all along. Oh, well. Yes, that is gorgeous. I love that. I'm looking forward to inking that up. You can never have too many pink inks in my opinion. <laughs> I think pinks, browns, this kind of deep red, those are my favorite inks. And now I'm really, really, really becoming obsessed with shimmer inks. And so a lot of the rest of these are shimmer inks. I think only one of the remaining ones is not. So this one is Van Diemen's Feline and it's called Persian Princess. I've never had a Van Diemen's ink, but I have seen a lot of people talk about them. So I was interested to try. And then I happened to see this one 
on their website in, a, some, in another review for a different ink. It was in like the same picture and I was like, what is that? It is gorgeous. So I almost ordered a full bottle <laughs> just because it looked so pretty. But I'm glad that I didn't because I need to not do that. And Demon's Feline. And this is Persian Princess. That is really pretty. I'm excited to see how that looks when the, it dries with the shimmer. That is a really gorgeous, like, mm, raspberry kind of pink. Okay, next one is the other Van Diemen's from the same feline line. And this one is interesting because I can't seem to get the shimmer off of the sides. I've been shaking this for a while and it's not moving. This is supposed to be more of a brown. Let me see if I can kind of mix this in with the dip pen. That shimmer is like really, really stuck on the side there. I'm not sure, but anyways, this one is supposed to be more of a brown or a tan. Yes, Ooh, that is so pretty. These both have a lot of shimmer, so I'm wondering how they will do in pens. Like this is not a small amount of shimmer in here. So this is Van Diemen's Feline. So it seems to be a pretty light ink right here. I bet it would be even lighter in a pen. So that's something to think about. Okay, the next one is the last non-shimmer ink and it is Diamine Pumpkin. Again, with my fall colors, I'm just wanting them all. Um, I'm really enjoying the Diamine uh, Blood Orange, but it kind of leans almost a little bit too red for me. Like I wanted more of a true orange like this. This is very bright though. <laughs> I wanted more of like a muted true orange, I guess. Um, this reminds me of Firefly, the, the shimmer one. But I'm sure in a pen it would be a little bit less kind of in your face. It is really pretty. It's definitely a true orange. I might ink this up for October. Look at that shimmer. Ooh, girl, it's pretty. Okay, the next one is Oh, I got another Van Diemen's. I guess I didn't realize that. <laughs> it is Van Diemen's um, Queenstown Gold Mine. This also has a ton of shimmer in it. Really, really, really beautiful looking. So it's a little bit similar to Bengal Tiger. Um, I like that. I like that tone of brown. Okay, next. This is one of the ones, I think there was two that I was like really, really excited about. And this is one of them. It kind of reminds me of Autumn Forest, but I think it's going to be more green looking. And it's Vinta Piloncitos. And I don't know what that means. It sounds like a word I recognize, but <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. But it is this gorgeous olive green with gold shimmer so I'm really really excited to see this one and I, I'm thinking it's either this or the other one that I was really excited about that I'm going to ink in the Twisby Diamond that is gorgeous oh my goodness the green is a beautiful tone of green one of my favorite greens and the gold just makes it even extra special not being very uniform with my swatching here, so my apologies. Okay, the next one is Ferris Wheel Press, Cloak and Forest. This one is beautiful. I expected it to be a straight green, but it actually looks quite blue if you see that there. It kind of reminds me of um, Emerald of Shavor. It's very dark. It looks almost black right here. 
Um, hopefully we'll start to see more of the green and blue tones once it dries, but that is really beautiful. That's a very lubricated and wet ink too. I could tell just by writing that. And then the last one was the other one I'm super excited about, and that is Diamine Dusted Truffle. I saw this on, I think it was my Dandelion Diaries ink comparisons. And I think she had this in the light browns and oh my gosh, the shimmer just captivated me. That was actually what inspired me to make this order. <laughs> um, I just had to try it. So it reminds me a little bit of the Vinta in terms of its tone, but this one I think is more green gray leaning. And this is from the green ink vent. But I think this is a gorgeous fall color as well. It's very wet too, but it feels more watery than the Cloak and Forest, which felt more like, like that thicker kind of lubricated feeling. So I will come back when this is dry and show you all what it looks like, what they all look like, and uh, what I choose to ink up the Twisby with. So they are all dry. This swatch is still drying a little bit, but you can definitely still see its character. So let's just start at the top. We have the Kobe 74, which dry looks like a reddish brown and it has a beautiful light green sheen, sorry, around the edge there. I do not see that in the writing, maybe a tiny bit on the K, but I don't think you will be able to see it on the writing when it is in a pen, which is fine. It's still a gorgeous color. Then we have um, Vinta Laguna, which is a pretty, I guess I'd say it's a basic color. Like it doesn't have too much of anything. There is some shading, but not a lot, um, but it's still a very lovely color. Then we have Pilot of Roshizuko Sutsuji, which I'm kind of surprised by because I did not know that there was this like yellow sheen to it. I definitely can see that in the lettering as well, but again, in a pen, it's not gonna be this thick, so I don't know if I will see it in the lettering um, in a pen, but it is a gorgeous pink color with that sheen. Then we have the Van Diemen's Feline Persian Princess, which out of the three Van Diemen's ink, this one has the least visible shimmer. I don't know if maybe I just didn't shake it up enough, um, but it is still completely gorgeous. It is a beautiful, warm toned pink, a deeper pink, definitely on the raspberry side with that gold shimmer. It is truly beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm glad I didn't get a bottle. I don't know if I'll buy a bottle of it, but we'll see after I use it in a pen, but it is definitely a gorgeous color. Then we have the Bengal Tiger from the same feline line, and that one is just packed with shimmer. Um, even in the writing sample, it's very clearly visible. Again, in a pen, I don't know how much of these shimmers we're going to see. It don't, will depend on the pen and how it flows, but man, it's just so pretty to swatch these and see them. I love them. I also do love the brown color of the ink. It reminds me of, um, oh, I just lost the ink name that it reminded me of, <laughs> but I know that there is another brown ink that it reminds me of. It's very pretty. It's a muted, subtle brown. Then we have Diamond Pumpkin, which is extremely bright. <laughs> I, I was not expecting it to be that bright, but it is a nice true orange. Then we have Van Diemen's Queenstown Gold Mine, which is also very shimmery. It has some um, shading around the edges of a darker brown. In the writing sample, you don't see that as much, but it does have some interesting like shading in the writing as well. Like There's like that outline around the letters that you can see. Sorry, I keep like looking around the camera and then I'm not in frame. Um, and yeah, just a lot of beautiful shimmer. I really do enjoy this tone of uh, brown as well. It's more of a yellow brown. I really like that one. Then we have this Vinta, which is wow. I think this is probably the most shimmery out of them all in terms of the shimmer that you can see in the actual writing. It is so gorgeous. I love this green ink with that gold shimmer, like amazing. <laughs> I truly hope it looks like this when it's in the pen. It's stunning. I really, really love that. I also really love this Ferris Will Press Cloak and Forest. I'm surprised by it. I thought it was going to be more of a green ink, but to my eye, it definitely looks more blue and purple. It has this red sheen along with the, I don't know if they're silver or blue shimmers, but it gives it like a purple blue kind of overall look. It's really pretty. It's definitely not like Emerald of Shabor. Uh, that one definitely leans teal. 
this one definitely leans blue to me um but it is really 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 beautiful i love that and then we have the dusted truffle which is super shimmery as well but this is a silver shimmer with a base of a brown gray so that is I mean, they're all just these three. Oh, well, actually, these four. My goodness, they're all just so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to put in the pen. They all are. I mean, these two as well. I, obviously, the shimmers like draw your eye more, but all of these inks are gorgeous. So let's just see here. Thinking about what I have inked right now, I have, I had the Emerald of Shabor inked, but I uninked it because I sent that pen back. I do have this purple inked up. We have two, three greens already, technically, but none of them are really like this Vinta one. I mean, I guess it would be most similar to the, um, I guess a combo of the Autumn Forest and the <laughs> Goose Poupon. But yeah, I do have a lot of oranges and warm kind of brown colors. So I don't think I'm gonna do Van Diemen's Queenstown or either of these. So I'm thinking it's either going to be, uh, I'm so torn between these three. Mm. I'm really torn. Well, I'm just going to do the Vinta because that's the one that I'm just most drawn to <laughs> and love the most right now at this moment. So here it is. Here's my Twisty. I'm so excited for this pen. I hope that it doesn't stain because I've heard other people say that their Twisbees got stained, which I do not want. Okay, so I got a good amount there. I have a little bit more than half of the um, capacity there, but I still have half of a vial of the ink, so I'm happy with that. I'm so like thankful that Van Ness offers such generous samples because I can try them in you know, multiple pens, multiple times. And honestly, uh, depending on how I go with this ink, I have been known to, you know, like unink the pen and put it back in the sample vial so I can try it again later on with like different pens, different nib sizes and things like that. So I do like to, when I put a shimmer ink in, kind of press the feed area to get the excess shimmer that does inevitably get caught in the feed right there. Look at that, so pretty. Um, did I wipe it off good enough? Yes, I think so. Just going to there is so much shimmer in this oh my gosh it's so pretty in this pen okay so let us do a little writing sample here so this is the and of course it's going to be darker and more wet right now because I just dipped it. So as I write with it, I do expect it to quote unquote dry up a little bit. Um, that's just always how it is when you first dip a pen, but this is the Twisby. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Diamond 580. We have a medium nib, which it could be because there's a shimmer ink in here. So it's kind of like stopping up the flow a little bit, but it does not feel as wet as the Twisby Eco Medium that I have, also in white rose gold. Um, this definitely writes to me more like a fine, but that could definitely be just because it has a shimmer ink. Next time I'll try to ink it up with something that's not a shimmer ink and we'll see. I wonder if this is gonna be hard to clean out because these shimmers are really sticking to the sides. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm happy with this nib width though. I really like the way this is writing. The nib is perfect and smooth. There's no like catching in any direction. It's just lovely. So it is a medium nib and then we have Vinta Piloncitos. I wonder what that means. I'm gonna look it up and put it on the screen. Um, that is the ink we have in here. It is gorgeous. And this is in the white rose gold oh my goodness 
goodness. Look at <laughs> that shimmer. Ah! If it continues writing like this, putting down that much shimmer, that's going to be so exciting for me. This will definitely be one of my dedicated shimmer ink pens, but this is stunning. I am so, so happy with it. Um, yeah, it seems like the shimmer doesn't want to, you know how shimmer like will normally settle down on one side or the other and then the, the other side looks like just the clear ink. This looks like the shimmer is very well kind of incorporated into the ink as a whole and is not really separating from the base color. And it definitely seems like the shimmer is sticking to the side. So hopefully that won't be a total pain to clean out, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, I am so in love with this combo. It's gorgeous. Um, I love the nib. It's very smooth. I love this ink color. That's just impressive in the shimmer department. <laughs> and the green is a gorgeous green. It like reminds me of what Autumn Forest like is trying to be. Although Autumn Forest is a different color shimmer, so it's not really a fair comparison. But if we look at Autumn Forest, definitely a darker green base. But I wish that um, the shimmers would be a little bit more visible in this one. But that could be the nib as well. So I'm not blaming the ink entirely. <laughs> but yeah, these two are a little bit similar. But Autumn Forest is definitely darker. And then just because it's wet, you're not really going to see the shimmer yet. Although you can kind of see it in the swatch there. But yeah, it's definitely a much more subtle shimmer. This is like bam in your face. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think. What's your favorite ink out of the ones that I got? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.